senior candidates, let me hope that you are safe at home. So without wasting time, the other time our last lesson we had about formation of four equations, that's application of algebra. And I gave you this one as exercise number one. So I want us to follow and see whether you have got it right. If you got it right, then you can mark it from there because you are far from me. But I was happy with those ones who sent the responses to me. Thank you so much. Continue doing the same. So our question number one was this one. And question A say find a what? Find a value of y. Find the value of y. So dear candidates, we are supposed to study these lines very well and see which lines are the same. Because the equation has the left hand side and the right hand side. So when you look at these lines here, they are not all the what? The same. So let us look at which two lines can make us form an e equation. So when you look at the height, here there is nothing, there is nothing, there is nothing. When you look at the width, is also this one, but here there is nothing, there is nothing, there is nothing there. So definitely it is the length to help us form an e equation. Therefore, we shall say that the 2y minus 3 in two brackets, we have 70 meters, will be equals to y plus 2 in two brackets centimeters. So we have formed an e equation. Now after forming an equation, we are supposed now to open brackets. So the other time, we said when you are opening brackets, multiply everything inside the brackets by the one found where outside the brackets. Therefore, we can also multiply centimeter times 2y and centimeter times negative 3. The same applies to this way also, y times the centimeter and then the 2 times the centimeter. Or otherwise, there is another one we can say. 2y minus 3, the centimeter equals y, plus 2 centimeters. Since this one is common, we can also say, why can't we divide both sides by a centimeter? Divide here also by a centimeter. So that we cancel the centimeter and the centimeter. After that, we shall remain now with only 2y here, minus 3, which will be equals to y plus 2. They are still in the brackets. Then we remove the brackets and say 2y minus 3 is equals to y plus 2. After that, we collect like terms. Remember, we say collection of like terms must be done one at a time. So we have 2y minus 3. We get the additive inverse of negative. 3, which is positive 3. So here it is positive 3, which is equals to y plus 2 plus 3. So we shall name here with a 2y, which is equals to y plus 5. 2 plus 3 gives you 5. Therefore, we have now 2y minus y, which is equals to y minus y plus 5. The additive inverse of positive y is negative y. Remember that. Then we have 2y minus y, which I mean with the y equals 5. So, therefore, that is the value of y. I don't know whether you also got from there, if you need to get that, then you know that you are supposed to write the corrections. Then our question B was saying find the volume. Question B, find the volume. So how do we find the volume? 
Remember the volume we say it is the base area multiplied by the what? The height. Therefore, we shall need to first of all find the actual base, actual width, and then the actual height. So let's begin with the length. The length, pick the one which is simpler for you. And as we say, y plus 2 centimeters. So the length will be the value of y is 5. That is 5 plus 2, which gives us a 7 centimeters. 5 plus 2, you get 7. Multiply by that, gives you 7 centimeters. So that is the, the length. Then let's look at the, the width. We have the width. The width is given here as y minus 2. So we have y minus 2 centimeters. So the width will be, the value of y is, the value of y here is, we got it to be what? To be 5. Therefore, we substitute 5, take away 2, and the centimeters. So our y gives us now the width to be 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2, we shall have 3 times the centimeter, then we have 3 centimeters. So that is the actual width. Then we shall also need to find the, the height. The height is given as y. The height is given as y centimeters. Therefore, I shall say the height equals y times the centimeter. And then the height will be the value of y here. We got it to be what? 5. Therefore, it will be 5 multiplied by a centimeter and our height will be 5 centimeters then we underline the next we have not answered the question yet the question says find the volume so we go ahead now and say therefore the volume equals the base area Multiply by the, the height. Multiply by the height. So the base area is in the length multiplied by the width and multiplied by the height. So the volume gives us a, the length is 7 centimeters multiplied by the width, which is now what? 3 centimeters 3 centimeters multiplied by the height which is what? 5 centimeters so the volume will be 7 multiplied by 3 7 times 3 we shall get 21 then we have a centimeter times a centimeter we have square centimeters multiplied by 5 centimeters. Then here we can multiply 5 times 1. Some of us may not be able, we can use it as side work, that 21 multiplied by 5. Make sure that you put a decibel and you put a multiplication sign. So 5 times 1 gives you 5. Then 5 times 2, 5 times 2, 10. So that is the answer. So the volume gives us a 105. But square centimeter times a centimeter gives us a cubic centimeters. Therefore, candidates make sure that the units you write in the volume must be cube. The moment you live without units, you will be marked here. Wrong. There are others who say 105 centimeters. You are also marked here wrong. Volume must be cubed.
Volume must be what? Cubed, the units. So, that was the volume. And then, we also asked to find the total surface area. Allow me to this. So please, if you paint one, make sure that you do the what? A corrections. So our question C. Question C. Calculate its total surface area. Calculate its total surface area. I remember I gave you how to get the formula for total surface area. We say two open the brackets. Lines will wonder how lioness hunts. So the total surface area is equals two into brackets. Lions will wonder how lioness hunts. Two Lions will wonder how lioness hunts. There are very many ways you can remember the what? The formula. So here you can say total surface area, the length. Remember our length here is what? Seven. So the length is seven centimeters multiplied by the width, three centimeters plus the width 3 cm times the height 5 cm plus the length 7 cm times the height 5 cm close the brackets so the total surface area will give us in 2 into brackets the 7 times 3 gives us 21 the centimeter times the centimeter that is a square centimeters plus not times mark this plus some candidates when they reach here they begin changing everything to times even here times no then we have plus remember this one what we call total the total surface area. We are getting now the total area of the six faces of a cube. That's why we are adding because of that word total. You get the area of the two which are equal plus the area of the other two which are also equal plus the area of the other two which are also equal. Then we add. So plus three times this have 15 square centimeters plus 7 times 5 we have 35 centimeters squared and you close so we can add total surface area equals 2 in two brackets we can have 21 plus 15 21 plus 15 can you give me the answer? If you see that you cannot add horizontally, we can add vertical and say 21 plus 15, which gives us here 6, that is a 3. So we shall have here 36 centimeters squared plus 35 square centimeters. Then even here, we can also add and say 36 plus 35. 6 plus 5, 6 plus 5, 11. So you write 1, we group 1. We don't carry numbers. Some of you say we carry 1. We don't, carry, we don't have containers for carrying numbers, but we regroup them according to their place in values. So this one's one here, plus this four, plus that seven. So we have 
2 multiplied by 7 1 square centimeters. So the total surface area we are now multiplying times 2. So which gives us a 2 times 1 gives you 2. 2 times 7, 2 times 7 gives you 14. So 1 and then 1 squared. So therefore, current days make sure total surface area. Whenever they talk about it, area, the units must be what? Squared. Mark this area, units are squared. Whereas volume, units are cubed. Should you live also, when you live like this, when you leave your answer like that, the examiner will mark you what? Zero, because of this. So make sure that the units are always what? Squared. So dear candidates, make sure that you have clear working like that. And my efforts again is on this part here, finding the actual length, finding the actual width, and finding the actual height. Some of you, when you are given, like maybe if it is examination, what you do when it comes here, you calculate all this work on your thigh, maybe the palm or the hand, some even use the, the shirts or the blouses or the desk, whatever the case may be. And you leave that working from there. Yet the instructions are saying all the working must be shown in the spaces provided. So make sure that all display your work. So with that, I may not go to the second question because the second question also was just the same as the formation of what? Equation. Because of time, uh, allow me to move to the next number. Let me erase this one. Please, candidates, make sure that whatever work you are given, you try and then see where you see that you cannot contact the teachers for guidance. So with that, uh, we are continuing with our formation of equations. Application of formation of equations. Application of formation of all equations. At least we have looked at the rectangle, we have looked at the analysis triangle, we have also looked at the cuboid, but there is a brother of the cuboid. That is a cube. So let's look at the examples. Number one, is say, study the figure. Study the figure. Below, care, carefully. They always encourage you that read the instructions given in each number. So our figure is here. Please make sure that you draw at least a figure which resembles a cube. And they will indicate it like this. Make sure that you put these symbols here. Those symbols tell us that all the sides are what? All the sides are equal. So we have here 
टू एक्स माइनस टू सेंटीमीटर्स एंड देन वी हैव एक्स प्लस फोर सेंटीमीटर्स आवर क्वेश्चन ए फाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स सो डियर कैंडिडेट्स Uh, when you look at what we call a cube, as the instruction says, study it carefully. So we have to study it carefully, and we are supposed to form an e equation. And remember, our equation is having the left and the right hand side. Therefore, we look at the sides. Which one are equal? But now, since it is a cube. A cube has all the sides what equal. Therefore, this one is the simplest. It's not like a a cuboid whereby you have to identify the two sides which are equal. But this one, it is direct. So we are now form an equation and say two x minus two in two brackets centimeters equals x plus four in two brackets. Centimeters. So we have formed an e equation. Therefore, after forming an e equation, what next? We are supposed to solve it. So we have now the common term here, even the other side. So 2x minus 2 centimeter to be x plus 4 in two brackets centimeter. So we divide here by centimeter. Divide here by centimeter. We want to get rid of the centimeters here first. But the, the other many ways we can even open brackets. But for me, I'm seeing this one to be simpler to you. So we cancel this and that, the centimeter and that. So here we shall remain with it. 2x minus 2, which is equals to x plus 4. Please make sure that follow all the steps. Don't leave out one. If you leave out one, you might have left out two. A man. And the moment the examiner puts their M zero, he will he can even be said just to close him or her eyes and says that nah, everything is in wrong. So here we have two x minus two x plus four. Allow me move ahead. Make sure that your work is always organized. Use a ruler. Then we have the two x minus two plus two. We are getting the additive inverse, which is equals to x plus four plus two. So we have the two x. When a, a number is added to its additive inverse, the result is zero. Therefore, we have here x plus four plus two gives us a six. So we bring now x also this side here. So the two x minus x equals x minus x plus six. Two x minus x. That is simply two minus one. Gives us a x, but we don't say one o x. We simply say x equals a six. Don't again put the units. We have already cancelled the other the units. So that is the value of x. Then our question B. You can be asked. That calculate its volume. Calculate its volume. Remember, we say that volume equals the base area. The base area times the The height, the base area times the height. Therefore, we are supposed to identify the base of this figure. And the base of this figure, when you look at 
what we call a cube. A cube is made up of squares. When you get six squares, then you put them together, you form what we call a cube. Therefore, since it is made up of a square, we must also know the formula now for finding the area of what? Area of a square. If you have a square like that, and they have told you to find the area, we say this is a side, this is a side. So we always say that area equals side here times side. Others say area equals length times length. But the most one, appropriate one is the side times side. Therefore, we go back to our figure. They have not given us the actual side. So we need first of all to look for the actual side. The actual side. Pick the one which is simpler since they are all the same. Children like always addition. So you can say the side is x plus 4 centimeters. So the side gives us a Yes, the value of x is 6, that is 6 plus 4, giving us a, so the side gives us what, 10 centimeters, that is the side, therefore, we cannot go ahead and say, our volume is equal to, the side the base area times now the what? The side. So the volume gives us a, a side times side times side. So I have the volume equals a, a 10 centimeters multiplied by 10 centimeters multiplied by 10 centimeters. In multiplication, you can begin either at this 10 times that or this one and that. It is all what we call commutative. You can use commutative in this. So the volume will give us a 10 times 10, that is 100 centimeters times a centimeter cubic square centimeters multiplied by 10 centimeters. So it will give us the volume to be. Uh, 100 times 10. 100 times 10. That is a 1000 a square centimeter times a centimeter. What we get? We shall get cubic. Remember, I told you that we volume. You must. You must. Make sure that the units are cubed. I can again move ahead and ask you another question. That's question C. That calculates calculates its total surface area. Calculate its total surface area. Yeah, that is primary six. Can see what we call application. Apply now the algebra to make sure that we solve that problem. So, uh, some of us always forget the formula for finding the total surface area of a cube. It is different from the other one of a cuboid. With this one, all the faces are the same. So six, six faces are the same. There are six of them. So we get the area of one square times the number of faces. A cube has six faces. And all the six faces are the what? Are the same. Therefore, we shall now say the total surface area is six multiplied by the area of one square, that is side times side. And sometimes we shorten it by saying 6s squared. Okay, please. Now, 
The total surface area will be 6 multiplied by the 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. So the total surface area, 6 times 10, we have 60 centimeters multiplied by 10 centimeters. So the total surface area will be 60 times 10, we have 600. A centimeter multiplied by centimeter, we have 600 square centimeters. That's how we find the total surface area of a cube. It is different from the other one for a cuboid. Therefore, we can move to number 2. Example 2. Try to be a bit faster. Example number 2 says study. Study the, the figure below and answer the questions that that follow and the figure is here this is the figure and we have here that 2 minus 7 centimeters then we have here 7 7 centimeters then we have 2w minus 4 centimeters question A find the value of w find the value of w I know this figure is new to you but this is what is common in every family we have cylindrical the cups, these bottles of mineral water, they are very dewy. So this is what we call a cylinder. So we should also identify which two sides are what? Are equal. Which two sides are equal. So we shall have to identify the two sides which are equal. So we have this side and this one. This side, this side here, and this one, this one is there after that. So I have identified this side and this one are equal. Therefore, we form an equation using this, that 2w minus 7, a centimeter equals seven centimeters. Then we have 2w minus seven centimeters out of a centimeter equals seven centimeters out of a centimeter. So we cancel this, we cancel that. So 2w minus seven equals seven. So we have 2w minus seven plus 7 is equals to 7 plus 7. So the 2W will give us a 14. So 2W out of 2 is equals to 14 out of 2. Then we cancel by 2 ones by 2 ones. By 2 ones by 2, 7. So we have W equals a 7. So the value of W is 7. Then, and go ahead. Can I go ahead and find the volume? Question B. Work out its volume. Remember, our general formula says volume equals this area 
time was the height. Base area time was the height. Therefore, when you look at this figure, a bottom here, this is what we call our base, is made up of a circle. And a circle when in primary six, how we find the area? So it is area is a pi r square. Pi r square. And this is what we call the what? The height. Therefore, it is the area of a square multiplied by the what? The height. But now, at least we know the, the diameter, which is 7 centimeters. But we don't know the what? The height. So we need now to look for the actual height. So we can say the height is 2w take away 4 centimeters. So we have the height to be 2 multiplied by the value of w is in 7. 7 multiplied by 7 minus 4 in two brackets centimeters. So the height will be, that is 14 multiplied by 4, uh, minus 4 again, that is centimeters. So the height gives us a 10. So we have known the height and we also know the diameter. Therefore, we are now going to find the volume, which says the base area multiplied by the height. So volume equals the pi r square times the height times the height then we have the volume equals the, the pi the value of pi is always paid to out of 7 paid to 2 out of 7 or it can be 3 on number 1 out of 7 and we also have when you change it into a decimal, we have said that the formula for finding the volume of the cylinder is pi r squared h times the height. Therefore, we say volume equals the pi multiplied by r. r squared means r times r times h. Then we begin with substitution. Remember the uh, value for pi is always 22 out of 7 or 3.14. If you change it into a decimal, Fraction. So volume equals 22 out of 7 times. Remember the 7 here, the 7 centimeters is not the radius, it's the diameter. And we say the radius is a half of the diameter. Or we can say radius equals diameter out of 2. Therefore, here we shall say 7 centimeters out of 2 times 7 centimeters out of 2 times 10 centimeters. We go ahead and say volume equals 22 out of 7 times 7 centimeters out of 2 times 7 centimeters out of 2 times 10 centimeters. The first step here is a step for substitution. Some of you want to begin substituting at the same time, you want to cancel, at the same time you want to multiply, do one thing at a time. So we have, can now cancel from here by two, once, by two, five. By two, once, by two, eleven. Then by seven, once, by seven, once. So the volume will be eleven times eleven centimeters times seven times five, thirty-five square centimeters. Then we have now the thirty-five times eleven. Thirty-five multiplied by eleven. So we have the volume, which is a you can multiply as your side you are. The thirty-five multiplied by eleven. That is five. That is 3, 5, 3. Then you add, this is 5, 3 plus 5, 8, 3. So the answer is 3, 8, 5. Then we are multiplying a centimeter. The centimeter here. 
Diamonds, square centimeters. We shall have cubic centimeters. That is now the volume. And then our question C can be asked to calculate its capacity. Question C calculate its capacity. Dear candidates, the moment the question talks of the capacity, you know that it is asking about the liters, the how many liters. So I'm finding that volume in liters. So since we already know now the volume, we shall just go direct and say the volume divided by 1,000 cubic centimeters. But our leading statement is one liter. One liter is equal to 1,000 cubic centimeters. Here, candidates, this is where you always go wrong from. Some of you say one liter is equal to 100 centimeters. Some say one liter is equal to 1,000 centimeters. It is 1,000 cubic centimeters. So the capacity will be now volume. Volume out of the 1,000 cubic centimeters. We already know the volume, so there is no need of us again repeating. So the capacity will be, we have 358 cubic centimeters out of 1,000 cubic centimeters. We go ahead and say that is 358 cubic centimeters out of 1,000 cubic centimeters. We can cancel the cubic and the cubic. Then now our capacity will be there are three zeros. Therefore, the three zeros give us the number of decimal places. So since there are three, it will be just one, two, three. So the answer is 0 0.358 68. No, please. It is 385. Let's correct this. It's 385. 385. So 38. Five liters, not again to be centimeters. So that is how you can find the capacity in case you have been asked to find the capacity. It is always the volume divided by the 1,000 to be centimeters. Uh, I may now say, for practice purposes, let me give you at least exercise may be two numbers so that you also practice from there so I can say activity activity number one the figure the figure below is acute and then we have our figure here as a cube. Remember, I told you that the cube has all sides equal. So we have here three t minus four decimeters, and then here t plus six. This meters. Then our question is A. Find the value of T. Question B. Work out the volume. The volume of the Q. Question C. Calculate. Calculate its 
total surface area. Then I can give you question two. Let me write this. Question two. It says the figure. The figure below is a cylinder. A cylinder. The figure below is a cylinder. That is how our our cylinder. We have here three centimeters. We have three p minus thirteen centimeters. Then we have two p plus one centimeter plus one. Then our question ten. Find the value of P. Question D. Work out the volume of the, the figure. Question C. Calculate. <coughs> calculate. A capacity, a capacity of the cylinder, the cylinder above. Maybe I can direct you here and say, use pi to be twenty two out of seven. Please, candidates, make sure that you do that work very well. And you are free to send your work direct to my number. You know my number very well. So I wish you the same step. Thank you very much.